Yeah, that's gonna keep us up all night. Really? I don't think really? so. <laughs> I don't think so. Okay, right, you wanna do it? Poodle party! One top bad. <laughs> <laughs> Jose? Jose from Indio, California. Man, you deserve a shirt, a pal shirt. He, he does. He really does. Mondo will send you a shirt. You have to send him your address, okay? And you gotta take a picture of it. He said, what are you wearing? Yes, you do. That I. Yes, he's he actually been a really faithful follower for the longest time. Oh, good. Oh. Awesome. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, I'm gonna get some shares in and we're gonna go to you right now. <laughs> no, I never did. It was a peach. Oh. It was supposed to be the if Biden won, I was gonna get the Georgia peach tattoo. Oh, that's cool. That was cool. Thank you. And I haven't gotten it yet. I don't know. <laughs> Like from Tucson. Tucson. Okay, guys, so share. Uh, we have a lot to talk about, and we're going to just be sharing right now. Yes. Yeah, have a Houston, Texas. Rose G, what's up, girl? Yeah, I got two. Uh, eat that, guys. Jose and Rose on. <laughs> Loyal. Loyal. Thank you, Irma, for sharing. Irma Rubio. Hey. Little party. I have Hilda Carpenia is watching. Hilda Carpenia is watching. Hilda Carpenia is watching. Hi, Hilda Carpenia. <laughs> You know that poodle is just like sticking right out. Do you think we should do it? Okay. Uh, okay, guys, this is uh, we're here on our Monday night with a peach and a loco. That is right on every Monday night. And today is actually a really cool day because we, you guys, have been asking for conjunto, and plus we got you conjunto, yep. and not just any conjunto. Oh my gosh, like legendary, awesome. Poodle. I know, and we're wearing our shirts too to represent. Yep. I, I did I did push ups. <laughs> just, to, just to get the get well, the chest. I, nothing helps me, uh, so I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. That right. is right, man. Oh, I'm so excited for this one. Yeah, so am I. Conjunto uh Baraja de Oro. We're gonna talk to Betty and there's no question that the I mean any we can ask any question. Betty's pretty much up front. She tells it how it is, Jeez. so it's going to be really juicy, I tell you that. Oh, yeah. So you guys, and ladies, especially the ladies, you you, got, you, you ladies want to be asking these questions because she, yep. as long as I've known Betty, she, 
she was, she'll tell you. Like, she'll tell you straight up. If you follow up. her Facebook, their Facebook page, Woo! yeah. She's she's one bad mama right there. I'm telling you right now. You don't even want to mess with her. No, <laughs> she. I mad respects to Betty out there. Mad respects. I like. She's awesome. Yeah. Super awesome. She's so cool. Um, but we no, always. Oh, 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 okay, so we always start our show with a little bit of horror. The horoscope. horoscope. So, so we're gonna, gonna jump, jump into, into horoscopes. horoscopes. I know it sounds like horoscopes. So we're gonna jump into <laughs> horoscopes, but um, <laughs> scopes. Hi, Hi cousin. cousin. Oh. <laughs> That's not <laughs> horoscope. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I meant to go. I meant to go horoscope. So um. That's right, guys. So, yes, Jose, send me your address, and I would, you you really do deserve a shirt. Like, you really do. You've been a loyal, loyal follower. And we need to know your your sign, your zodiac sign. What's your sign? Anyone that wants their horoscopes read, just put your horoscope on, and we'll read it to you. And we'll see if it's true or not. I mean, yes. I don't know. It Did might not be... You know, I have a theme song for horoscopes too. Let me find the theme. Oh, do you? The, not the theme song, but like a little. Here we go. This is for horoscopes, guys. So we're gonna let us know what your horoscope. Ricardo Reese, what's up? Horoscopes. Oh, uh, Irma says. Oh, cancer. Okay. Mucho, mucho amor. Walk the left out. <laughs> Ricardo Reese Los Escorpiones. What's up? Oh, yeah. That's right. They have a new song out. Do they? Yes. Ooh, you, you send it. Send it. Send it over. I see. Okay. I, what did I see? I see a cancer um, out cancer. here. Cancer. Cancer. All right. Scorpions. Okay, there's a cancer. You want to go or I want to go? I'll go. There you go. Inside information may come your way today that starts you thinking about improving your financial standing. You might hear of career and investment opportunities that you've never considered before. You're an adventurous soul. You might consider jobs that would have your grandmother reeling. The coming months show promise for you. Good fortune lies over the horizon. Go for it. Just go for it. Oh. Like Nike, just do it. Yeah. Do it. So, good fortune coming to you, Irma. Wow. Yes. Pretty cool. Awesome. I see. Well, obviously, Scorpion for a Scorpios. Scorpions. So, yes, um, Mr. Ricardo Reese out there, he, is, as he says, he's a Scorpion. He's a Scorpion. So, let's go to the Scorpion real quick. I think Tucson has a lot of Scorpions, right? Yeah. yeah. Got a lot of Scorpions here. I haven't, I haven't seen them. Well, Ricardo Reese. <laughs> good. Not bad. Good. Uh, <clears throat> Scorpio, you're looking forward to making new starts. Your in intellect is working in harmony with your intuition. Your mind is clear and more focused than it was. And you're thinking of expanding your horizons and creating new op uh, career opportunities for yourself. You're feeling passionate about life, ready to face just about anything the only challenge right now is to stay grounded in what stay grounded in reality watch me go creating new career opportunities everything's about career opportunities right? today Jeez. yeah i, I want to know what mine's now i, I want to know what it says for me um we have leo, leo. Hi, Annie. yes thank you leo is that you yes thank you leo because yo soy a leon my cousin's a leo you can meet new friends at a social gathering, people who could become valuable business contacts. You might learn of new and different investment opportunities that reflect the changing times. And these could capture your imagination. Your understanding of others runs deep, so relations should be congenial. If you're in the right mood to make the necessary decisions unhesitatingly. What? Mm. That's exactly what I was thinking. New, New friends? friends? Yes. Social gatherings? Yes. But right now, it's sort of hard to yes. be at social gatherings. That is hard. So, you have to be 
socially active on social media. <laughs> yes, you got to be like, hey. That is, that's true. That is so true. I saw who, it, oh, Rose Gonzalez. I said, photo by Rose. I saw it, an Addis. And Aries out there. Um, actually, Rose is going to get married in October. Oh, really? Yes. Congratulations. So, saludos to Rose and Victor Aya. How exciting. October, was it 9th? Uh, yes, October 9th. Here we go. Aries. Jose, what's up? I have your number. Manda loco. I'll send you. Yes. <laughs> My top fan. My one top fan. <laughs> I like you. You're cool. Indio, California. Here we go. Aries. <clears throat> Okay, information about possible career and investments might come to your attention today. Aries, you may give a lot of thought to these matters, especially since your thinking is changing a lot with the times. This is a good day to explore new avenues. Your life could take over the next six months. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> and make final decisions if appropriate. Give this some thoughts before you act on your plans. There you go, girl. Think about it. Think, think, think mm -hmm. about it. Investments. So in career you could invest on Mondo Loco and Peaches if you want. I'm just saying. <laughs> that would be great. That would be great. That would be awesome. awesome. Just saying. Just, just saying. Just Let's say hi to, let's see, Raven Tequila, Ooh. Alfonso Gays, I think his name is. Thank you. Moises. Thank you for watching. Thank you guys. Hi, Veronica. Sorry if I missed you. Hey, Rupert Vavages. Rupert, what's up? Rupert, he's a good pool player. Is he? Play pool. Anyone else have a um, horoscope? Let's read Pisces. Let's see mine. Rupert's cool. I like Rupert. He always shares my stuff. Like, yay. <laughs> Him and Jimmy like, yay. Let's see. Um, Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Where are the Pisces? At the end. There you go. Oh, I see it. <laughs> Gracias, Jose. Uh, there you go. Okay. Plans to work at home at least part of the time may be firming up for you, Pisces. Your mind is very much on home and family right now, so you might be thinking in terms of leaving the rat race of the city and creating your own office. Success is highly indicated so it's well worth going for if you start planning today you might have it worked out soon hmm. wow, i've been thinking about that too hmm. about a part-time job if well, anybody knows of anything there you guys go <laughs> chooks on arizona yeah hmm. yeah hmm. Hmm. That was a, that's a good horoscope right that's there. a good one hi maria watch my cow I'm just thinking that. Did you ever watch Walter McCall? Tim Dean, no. I used to grow up on that. My my mom used to watch Walter McCall all the time. He was like so uh, uh, like he? he looked so feminine. Do you guys remember Walter Mercado? Walter Mercado. Who's that? Walter Mer Mercado. I think it's Mercado. Do you guys remember? Oh, I do. Oh, okay, yeah. Yes. Like Walter, Mucho. yeah. Mucho, mucho, mucho. Yeah. That's what you're trying to do. Like, it was, like, he's the famous horoscope guy. I remember. Yeah. Like, whoa. I believe him. Hey, his birthday, March 9th. That's my birthday. What? Oh, it is. Oh, that's right. <laughs> that's strange. Okay, do we have any more horoscopes? Because we're going to, because we're going to jump into, but I have a lot of music. Oh, my gosh. If you guys don't know who they are, you're going to know. Yeah. If you don't know, you're going to know. If you don't know, oh, you didn't know. Yeah. Like <laughs> wrestling. Have you ever watched wrestling? Oh, you didn't know? You better ask. Uh, uh, wrestling? Yes. I'm a wrestling. I grew up on wrestling. The, the fake wrestling? No, the real. <laughs> it's not. It's entertainment. Road Dog, <laughs> Jesse James. Badass, Billy Gunn. Oh, my God. The New Age Outlaw. Okay. Yeah. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, I lived in oh, I lived no. in Washington. We had to amuse ourselves somehow. <laughs> we had to amuse ourselves somehow. So yes, I used to watch a lot of wrestling. I still kind of sometimes do. I don't think they ever have. It's entertainment. It's hard acting. Oh yeah, it's hard acting. It's hard acting. 
I'm just saying. And act like you're hurt. <laughs> act like you were kicked in the face. They like that you could see him. Oh. <laughs> so we should go into rest. <laughs> we, really <laughs> we should go into wrestling. All right. Um, where is it? Ah. Oh. Count in five, in five minutes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, oh, where are they? I can't find them. I know they're here. Let me let me type it in. Okay. Bar. Bar. Oh, today is cancer. I think we read cancer, didn't we? Or did we? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, we did. We read Cancer. Hi, Joe Trevino. Okay, so here is, I know this is one of their latest last songs that I had got called Paloma Negra. Here we go. Barraja de Oros here on A Peach. In the local. That's right. Keeping you connected. What's up? Saludos, everybody. Mis amigas. Que te and that's right. They're going to be calling in 30 minutes. Hay momentos en que quisiera mejor rajarme y arrancarme ya los clavos de mi pena. Pero mis ojos se mueren de mirar tus ojos y mi cariño.
that, guys. That's Barajadoros. Let's hit it one more time on the All American Dream. Dame tu amor here on the Peach and the Loco. What's up, Facebook? What's up, Victoria? Dame tu amor. That is right, that was Dame Tu Amor from the All American Dream album. You know what, Ricky, I did not get it, bro. I didn't get it, bro. I'm sorry, I don't see it. I checked in spam and I don't see it. What's up, Victoria Barajas, Betty Barajas, Tamien, and all the family out there. Where's where's the uh, accordion assassin at? I know he's up there in somewhere. He's called the accordion assassin. Oh, okay. Have you ever? Oh my god, that guy is. He's bad. He bad. That guy is bad. He was talking so fast. Did you see me looking at him like? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? This is normal. What are, you, what are you guys talking about? This is normal. Normal talk. <laughs> I'm just talking normal. What do you got about you guys? <laughs> it's just monster right here. Oh my god. Oh jeez. Want to say hi to Sonia? Sonia Weta, TDK in the house. Geraldine is watching. Selena Matanio, my cousin. Hi Yolanda. Yolanda. Gabriel Aguero, 
is watching. Rosie Allison. Rosie Allison Promotions. Rap, rap. Rap. Chicka, chicka, what, what? So, let's see. Yeah, thanks, guys. So, we have um, Conjunto Baraja de Oro that's going to be coming up. Um, let's see. Should we talk about... Oh, okay. Yeah, we got some important dates. We got... Here. I don't. Maybe. Well, okay, I do. Kind of. I do. Okay, what? The All-Star <laughs> Music Awards... <laughs> Uh huh. Is the 29th of May. Mm hmm. And hopefully, I mean, I'm just, you know, I'm nominated. So I am just hoping, I mean, I'm just. Oh, hoping that to is get in right. the top five. That is right. If I'm in the top five, I'm cool with that. That is right. That's right. I forgot about that. DJ Peaches is actually on the nomination for, what is it? Um,. Radio to Turd not Tourette's. <laughs> I sound like Tourette's, right? Now. Yeah, <laughs> oh, Tourette's, like terrestrial. Oh my god, oh my god, yes, that is right. Thank you, <laughs> and Thank it, you. if you guys don't know, Peach is actually how long have you been doing radio? It's been a while. Um, I started with a local station here called Radio Hacienda, it was uh, I was there for like two years. And then that station, it fell through. There was no sponsors to keep it going. Uh -huh. So then I joined the Hano's Best right after that. So a total, I was nine or ten. At least. Because I was eight years with the Hano's Best. Damn. You lost the best so, right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, now I'm with Vic G, TC Radio, and... That's going really good. I, I only have a show on Fridays because I, I just don't want to burn out. But I do yeah. have another station, KPYT, which is the Pasco Yaki Tribe. And I'm on the air. Tomorrow I'll be on the air from 11 to 2 o'clock Mountain Standard Time. And I play everything. Not only Tejano, country, classic rock, uh, Tejano, and old school. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So if you guys want to tune in tomorrow... Um, just use the tune-in app. Simple. Look for KPYT, not KYPT. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. That's KY. how she does it. <laughs> <laughs> there you it's guys KPYT, go. It's KPYT, so you didn't get the joke, did you? KYPT, what? No. Oh, <laughs> okay, okay. Now I had to think. Of it. Sorry, it just it almost went over my head. That's what I was looking at you. Like. There's this oh, there's this inside joke. I, I'm not gonna say with who, but sometimes I'm like Ed. Like, huh? What are you talking about? <laughs> but yeah, no, yeah, you know, yeah, no. Okay. Well, yeah, no. <laughs> I'm sorry. So I'm, <laughs> it goes over my head, guys. Sometimes. Yes, it does, it does go over. It goes head. over my head. Oh my gosh. But um, okay. So I want to say salutes to my people. So. Victoria, I see Victoria's on there. But uh, what's up, girl? Is she ever loves on there? Ed is on. What's up, Ed? He's a producer. Ricky Reese. What's up? What's Bobby up? What's Venezuela. And I want to give a big shout out to my one top fan. Oh, that's, I have one. I have one. I finally have one. Yay. <laughs> I have probably, I don't know. If you guys, okay, we, we've been keeping track. We we did have names on here. We're oh, it's, a, it's probably on the other one. Let me. Okay. We have ball. our names on here on the notebook, and with those names, we're keeping track of who's sharing and who's like watching. And um, you'll get a soccer status. Soccer status. You'll get a T-shirt. <laughs> you'll get a T-shirt from us. A Palace T-shirt. It's really nice. We got too. Jay. Oh, no, that's not bad. <laughs> uh, no, not J Rod. J Lo. J Lo's been watching. J Lo, I know. Oh. Dave Mata, uh, oh, Tadeen, Tadeen, Chevy, that, um, gosh, Irma Rubio. Oh, yes, yes. Okay, yes. so we got your names and we will be sending you a shirt. Okay, wow, so not the one right here, though. Yeah, no, this is my, this is mine. I won't get rid of this. I, uh, I like this one. I wear this even at KPYT, I wear it when I go grocery shopping. Damn. I wear it all the time. That's why it's all faded out and <laughs> <laughs> not. Nah, I'm just messing. Do I need another one? I would. I would really like another one. I would. Gosh, there. Oh yes. Okay. Hi, Cruz. Cruz Delgado's watching. So, 
you guys share let's get some viewers and let's um, get um, the interview with uh, Conjunto Baraja de Oro let's pick up those you know likes and get your questions ready because we want to yes. if you guys want you can ask anything Betty's an open book I, I, you know yes that's that's why I love yeah. Betty. Yeah, me too. I, oh me god, too. like wow, like yeah. all I say is like, <laughs> you go, girl, you go, you well, go. Well, that's the best. That's the best way to be. You got to be upfront. You have to be like, you you can't. There's no fakeness. You know, you mm -hmm. got to be real. Oh yeah, and and, she's and real. you got to speak your mind. I mean, whether you're if and it's harder for a female to oh, be yeah. like that because then you're judged. And you're, you know, not very like, not liked in the, I mean, all this, yeah, you know, it's just silly, but yeah. I really respect her for that, and that's why I love Betty so much. That's that's exactly why I love Betty too, because like, in my history, I I've been not not necessarily in the DJ world, but in other avenues like promotions and bands and stuff, I've been in it for a long time, like sixteen years, and. And I, I agree. I agree with you and I agree with Betty. Like, I've seen a lot of stuff happen to women. Yeah, exactly. And the one thing that really got me mad was when I seen it happen to Jesse Marie. You know, like, yeah. I was so mad. So that's why, if you guys don't notice, I, I, I typically try to push a lot of the females' names out there because I I seen it firsthand and I, I kind of have a sense of, oh, I see what's happening yeah, out there. Yeah. And it sucks. Mm -hmm. And Betty, uh, like, Power to you, girl. <laughs> yeah. Power to you. Um, so, do you want to jump to here? Yeah, the um, the Hano Convention is going to be happening in Vegas. Mm. When is it? April. Uh, not April. August, August 19th. August, yeah. August 19th to the, is it 20th? 19th, 20th, 21st, 23rd, 24th. 21st to the 24th, I believe. And that's in August. So, and you know what? That's always such a yeah. cool... That's such a cool event. Yes. Um, yes. And the star, you know, the stars. I say the stars, but the Tahano artists, they walk around in the crowd, and then it's you'll so catch awesome, them, man. like, so awesome. singing at the bar. They'll be just, you yeah. know, singing and kicking back with everyone. Um, you get to go up and take pictures. Um, usually there's Savala's pool party, which is really fun. I gave that idea. Yeah. Oh, really? Like, was it five years ago? Awesome. They're like... How will we improve this uh, convention? I'm like, well, how about a pool party shoot? Cause like I know when I go yeah, to like Vegas or something, just, why not just chill in the pool and just have some Tahano music? We Tahanos need to take over in the pool, and then coincidentally, poof, next year pool party. <laughs> <laughs> oh hell no! And Mondo took... didn't get no credit. Oh hell no! <clears throat> -uh. We'll talk to Betty about that. <laughs> uh, Shaniqua, no. <laughs> I just messed it. But yo, no, actually, yeah, the Tejano convention in Vegas is actually really cool. I love going to that one. And exactly why you said, because all the artists are, are usually just really just down to earth yeah. and homely. And um, I and it's so funny because I go every year and, and, and Shelly Lattice knows I go take the picture. Because that's another woman in, yeah. in Tejano that I really admire because mm -hmm. she's just... She's, she's awesome. She's just like really uh, gives out to the Tejano community, and I was like, whoa. Well, she's funny. She makes it funny. Yeah. So you have the Conjunto side, and then you have the Tejano side. Uh -huh. And David Farias is on the Conjunto side. Mm -hmm. So he's got his bands lined up, and then Shelly has hers, her lineup. So if you haven't gone um, to the Tejano convention, try and make it out there. Um, a big shout out to David and Sarah Chavez for doing a great job. Yeah. Um, always keeping um, the Hano alive by doing mm -hmm. that show, and then in the evening is the Grand Baile. Oh yeah! Oh wow! Oh. You know my my Chad. It's so cool because my memory, my best memory I seen was Jay Pettis was at the bar kicking back Elena Bentecourt. Oh yeah! Elena was there. Elena and, and Rough Riders, California. And then Juan P. Moreno. Oh, okay. So Juan and, and Jay Perez were just jamming, right? Just doing, you know. And then Elena came in, 
and started singing and nobody knew oh, who she was. Oh, yes. I remember. Yes. Nobody and, knew she was and she blew everyone away. Yes. Was like, who's this girl? She's yeah. bad. Like, in, in California, all my Californians, you guys know yeah. Elena Betancourt and Los Rough Riders. Yeah. At the time, she had Joel Gonzalez, baby, baby J. Was, he, he used to be the, I know him very, I yeah. knew, music but yeah she's bad no <laughs> lena's bad like she's a she is so yeah. man she's so underrated right now she is she's a bad one but you know what i'm gonna give a little uh, uh she's man i hear elena is actually on the process of making a music a, a song so oh, i keep in contact with she's, my people yeah. yeah she's really good yeah she i is. liked her from the from that day i was just like mad and i went up to her and asked her her name she's and bad so. that woman is bad like Google her. If you guys, if she goes, what the heck is this? Just say, you heard it on Peach in a local. Elena yeah. Betancourt is one bad yeah, muchacha. Yeah, Veronica Rodriguez. Hi, Veronica. Yes. I love, oh, we love Lena. She's, mm -hmm. oh, Lena Betancourt and those rough writing. I, I think I have her music. I really do. Oh, yeah. We got to look it up. I want to find uh, it. Shout out to the Aguilar Familia. Samara Aguilar. She was, uh, she's our traveling one of our traveling Tejano divas. And oh. We traveled, so we had a good time when we went to go see AJ Castillo. Okay, so we're going to throw in um, a song, and I guess we're going to be almost ready for Barajador. Yay! I'm so excited. So saludos to everybody out there in Facebook land and streaming on TejanoLoco.com radio. Um, who else is on here? Ricardo Reese. I sent it again. Cool. Daniel Salazar. Awesome. Uh, my one top fan, thank you. My eight viewers, <laughs> Hi, Daniel. Daniel Garcia, and then who do you have? Big D Dreams, Big Daniel, D, given the Daniel Big D Garcia, TDK came back, <laughs> TDK leaves, and then it comes back. God. It tells me, it tells you, <laughs> <laughs> we keep an eye on you. <laughs> Hi, Hilda. All right, ready? ready? Here we go on up. Uh, Peach. And a loco, <laughs> Baraja de Oro, B D O, the filler. This is bad. This is a bad jam. I like this one. This is a bad jam. I love this one.
quiero que me digas el amorcito de mi vida Yo te quiero con locura Pero pronto Con pasión Yo te conozco todo y todo toda mi vida Y todo lo que más quieras All right, guys. That is right. That was uh, Varadoro B D. Oh, the filler. It's a long song. It's a long. <laughs> it's a long song. But it's a bad song. I thought he was gonna get tired. He didn't. I didn't get tired. Uh uh. Sponsored. Not not I sponsored think... by Mont. They shouldn't sponsor me. That would be. Sweet. Yeah. I'll be. I'll be like the perfect. You perfect. To, you have to reach out to him. You gotta do a lot of TikToks. I'm not. I'm not a TikToker. I I love TikTok. I'm not a TikToker. But I don't make any videos. I'm too embarrassed. That is right. Get <laughs> that was Baraja de Oro here on the Peach and a local. Yay! I, I look at you like. Yay. I know. So they're gonna call. I hope they call. Are they gonna call? You guys are gonna call pretty soon, in time now. Um. But yes, I did find uh Le and Lena, Bancourt and Lowe's. The Hano Writers song and Ricky Reese, you, uh, it did come over, so we'll probably end it off yeah, with that. Awesome. Um, so, yay. And saludos. saludos. Juan Navarez from Florida tuned in. Hi, Juan. And Daniel, thank you, Daniel, for always helping out the Tejano industry. Number one. Uh, let's see. TDK often imitated but never ever duplicated. <laughs> TDK. Ooh, hello. Who do we have here? Oh, can you hear it? Can we hear it? Uh-oh. Hello? Let's see what's happening. Hello? Hello? Oh, my gosh. Is it not here? Hello? Oh, wait, wait. Now can you hear it? Hello? Yeah, I can hear you. I can hear you. Oh, okay. Yay. Because I have the volume on low. Oh, I have the volume on low. 
I mean, I've been on the road since I was 14 years old, and uh, when I met Betty, that's when I, uh, that's when I, uh, she she actually talked me into making my own band, and uh, she's like, you know what, why are you, I was in between groups, she's like, why are you going to get into another band, why don't you just do your own thing, and uh, I was like, you know what, let's do it, I did it. She didn't know she was going to be part of the band yet, but that was my thought. You're in it. <laughs> yeah, no, she already had her, already had her, her voice, and I was like, oh, yeah, we can do something. And, uh, and when she taught me to do my own band, okay, yeah, we got most of the band here right now, so we could be good. And, of course, she didn't know that. We, was try- we were trying to back up singers and stuff, and I was like, no, nope, not working out. She's like, well, I was like, you're going to have to step in and help me till I find somebody. And that was just me getting her in without really, really letting her know what the deal was. So did you guys... Yeah, so it's been... Go ahead. Did you guys, like, I mean, so you started in the band. Were you guys already dating at the time? Or? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> we were already married for a couple of years. And, and uh, like I said, she would she would go with me to the shows with other bands, and I actually had a, a really bad accident and almost lost my left hand. And uh, I went through a year of therapy, and, and almost a day, a year to the day that I got hurt, I was performing again, and, and I had my first show was in Houston helping someone else out. And like I said, I would play with different groups, whatever, and. But I had kind of told her, hey, you know, one day I'd like to have my own thing. And she's the one that just made me feel like I could do whatever I want to do. And she's like, you know what, do your own thing. And I was like, all right. Well, she had my back, and that's a matter of more anything. That's so cool. That's, I, 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 think, I think that would be really, that's really important. I think that would be really hard, at least being in the industry, um, having that skill. Yeah, but that shows, that shows, Betty, that shows your strength, Betty. I mean, you're, you're always been such a powerful force in, you know, the, in the genre. I mean, it's always been where, you know, it's, it's hard for us females to speak up and be outspoken. And that's, yeah. that's where I admire you because you're not, you're not afraid to speak up, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, and, and, and that's why, well, that's why I love Betty. Like, yeah. she's like, uh-uh, I'm, she like, like she just speaks her mind. I'm like, yeah, it's so cool. <laughs> you know, I, 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 
know, it's just, I would tell people that I'm a product of society because I was bullied for so long. Mm -hmm. uh, I cried at the drop of a hat. My dad said that I cried because the sun rose and because the sun went down. And people are like, yeah, right. You? I'm like, no, really. I was uh, the skinny little Hispanic girl that just cried every day. Aww. And then I remember one time I prayed. I, I just prayed a lot. And I said, God, I want my tears to stop. I want my heart to, get, to stop getting broken. For any reason, it'd be like somebody look at me funny or different or, you know, just call me a name, because I like to be called, mm -hmm. the funny things is like uh, skinny bones, olive oil, giraffe, but I was the tallest out of five girls, so I was like, this is sensitive boo-boo girl, and I'm like, you know what, this has got to stop, <laughs> well, honey, let me tell you, it stops. <laughs> 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 now, if you need some backup, you just call me. <laughs> you know what? You just you described me to the T. I was like that, like back in the day too. Everything made me cry. Now I'm yeah. just curaje, You know, now I just get like pissed off about stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You get to the point where you get tired of getting run over and being yeah. taken advantage of it. Being an excuse and say, you know what, you're nobody. Excuse me, I am somebody. Yeah. So I I know like me and Peaches were talking about earlier about um, we see a lot of a lot of things happen with females in the industry and and I was just giving her kind of a, a, a real quick short answer. For me, one of the last straws for me is when I seen one of my homegirls, our homegirls, Jesse Marie, kind of get under dude, I guess, and I was like. I, I like it, it really hurt me because Jesse Marie is like a really good friend of mine and then as time went on I seen thing, more things happen as I got more involved in the industry and I'm like holy moly like what the heck so I guess yeah for you Betty what was it about you that you're like uh uh forget this what made you find it like no this ain't happening all right Betty is that what you're asking me yeah what made me fight back? Yeah. Because this genre of music, unfortunately, it's run by the mill genre. The mill. I mean, even the way you go, uh, El Hombre, you know, he's like, I was with his wife, Paul, and tried to book the band when Mario gave me the management position, and then he would be like, uh, and I'm like, I'm like, Mario, it's one of these people. I don't want to speak to a lady. Can you please just book the band? And I was right beside him, telling him what to say as far as availability, price, and everything. And I'm like, this is so... Oh, are you breaking? I think you're breaking up. Are, they are you guys driving? The women that want to be treated like the same as a man? No, I just want to be respected and dealt with when it comes to business. Yeah. You know, my husband showed me from day one that I was respected, I was loved, and I was somebody. Yeah. And I would, you know, I would just, just want where, I said, you know what, if you don't book me, I'll go somewhere. And that was my, that was my attitude. Yeah. And it has been. And, um, uh, not because I don't want to, what drives us is the fans. So when they tell us, hey, why don't you play at this uh, club? And why don't you play at this club? Well, either because they don't want to deal with me because it's, I'm a girl, or because they don't like, uh, you know, it'd be something like uh, availability as far as we're not available or we're, you know, cost or anything. And they think, and like one of them told me, they speak to Mario. I'm like, Excuse me. Um, you know, it's like it's like it's like they're trying to throw you to the side. Yeah. And if you don't stand up for yourself, I mean, Mondo, really, in any aspect in your life, yeah. And marriage, and work, and friendship, and, and relationship, just you know, God put us on earth, and when you are someone special, you are someone important. It's it that depends on you. You got to stand on your two feet 
and say, hey, I am somebody. Yeah. And you've got to have that confidence. You've got to keep it. It didn't come to me. I didn't go to Walmart to buy it. I found it, and I'm not going to let it go. Yeah. 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 And I noticed that, like, if you are, like us females, if you are outspoken, and because I pretty much have become that way, too. I don't care, you know, what people say. It's if I feel a certain way, I'll stand my ground. And, I, you know, and I've been told before, too, oh, he just likes to create drama. No, it's not that. It's just that I believe a certain way and I'm not going to change how I believe because somebody else, so somebody else could like me, you know, so... Yeah. Well, I just showed your insecurity, uh, you know, and I will tell you something. I'm proud of you because you are an example for a lot of females, for a lot of people that look up to you. I mean, when I first heard of you, you were booming all over the website. I mean, online they were saying, vote for DJ Peaches, DJ Peaches. I'm like, who is DJ Peaches? I want some of that. What is going on? And, uh, man, I looked into you, and I was like, okay, and you got my vote, girl. I voted for you. <laughs> and, uh, you know, and I think it was so cool that there was another DJ uh, posting your info. Uh, Sylvia Rojas, I think, was one of them. Mm -hmm. And uh, Shaz was another one. They were, you know, they vote for, you know, they were, like, pushing each other. Y'all would feel, and I thought that was so phenomenal. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I think that's something that you guys understand that, because that you got a lot of people looking at you as well, and for you to stand on your ground, it's not easy, is it? No, it's not. It's not easy. I'm I'm sometimes afraid of the backlash. Sometimes I'm afraid of, you know, losing the followers or losing listeners because I feel a certain way. You know. Mm -hmm. So you you won't lose your true followers because if you're being true to yourself, and like you said, you're speaking your mind. They love that about you because you're an open book and you're honest. You're not going to bullcrap them. You're not going to tell them a different story. And that's important. That you don't go with what somebody else is trying to make you say, think, do. You be yourself, huh? Yeah, thank you. That's why I look up to you. Oh, definitely. I look up to you for because I, I see your posts and I see when something really gets to you and you're just like aggravated about it. <laughs> You know, you speak your mind. I'm like that a girl. You know that. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it, 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 you have to because uh, it's like this. If, if you don't, uh, you know, I, I be professional, but I also keep it to where you understand. I'm also a person. I'm not a you know like I'm just a person that gets up there and sings and with no feeling, no emotion, uh, no heart. You know, uh, I wear my heart on my sleeve. I will help someone in a heartbeat. I will give them the shirt off my back if I have to, or the last penny I have. Uh, we've helped so many people uh, from the beginning of our music career. We did about uh, 150 benefits in one year. Oh, wow. wow. We walked away with nothing, and we give it all to them. And we, whatever we made at the door. I mean, people were like, Either it's medical, uh, it was sickness, it was funerals, whatever it was at that time. Mm -hmm. We had to get to a point where we had to say no and say, look, whatever. Because at that point, we weren't really working. We were kind of, you know, just working for, you know, to help people, which is great, but not where we're doing this for a living. Because this is what I do full time. So I couldn't, you know, I couldn't, there was so much I could go and give. And people were understanding, and they were so grateful. Oh, my God. And people would cry, and I would just give it to them. They're like, Betty, are you sure? And all the guys were there. You know, Chris. Chris has been our drummer. He's been there from day one with Mario. Mario, our vocal player. I mean, they would be there and they'd say, yes, give it to them. And I think that's where God has a special place for us, uh, because he knows that we, you know, we help with wholeheartedly, you know? And we, we, our, our fans keep us humble. And that's so important in this music. That's why I said when you get what you get, uh, we give it our best and people love it, you know, as far as because it's, we're true to ourselves. Yeah. How do you think the industry has changed since you, when you first started 
to present day? How do you feel? Okay, that's a really great question. Let me tell you why. I see a lot of more females yeah. that are that confident, that have stepped up to the stage. There's not a look uh, that necessarily you have to be a size two. You have to have a Mariah Carey vocal. Uh, you have to have perfect hair, perfect, you know, everything. Mm -hmm. You can actually make a difference. Like, you got Lizzie, you know, uh, you got people that are, oh my gosh, hey, uh, Rizzo, you got like uh, Amy Winehouse, you know, people like her that look so yeah. different. Yeah, yeah. And they're like conquering, you know, in the music business. And in our genre of music, I was so astounded with not only fanfare, but uh, also the award shows that have been coming up, uh, different uh, places. That I see so many young girls yeah. stepping up. And every time when you do a private event, speeches in Mundo, I always bring the young lady to the, to the stage and I tell them, whatever you dream of being, you can be that. You can be the next president. You can be a doctor. You can be an attorney. You can be whatever your dream is. You can be that. Yeah. I said, if you want to be a vocalist, you're welcome to share the stage with me, and I'll hand you the mic. Oh. Or you can get on Mario's accordion. You get on the drums. Mm -hmm. You know, and I think that is so cool that they get a feel when they get up on that stage and say, "Wow, I think I could do this." You know? Yeah. yeah. You know, I, and I I have seen that lately, like in the past. Uh, a couple years that there's been way many more females out there than guys and I'm like dang these females are rocking the place like it's crazy and and a lot of them are really good really talented yeah, yeah. and especially like in the Conjunto yeah. area I, I've noticed it's been really going up as well conjunto has been really coming out why why do you definitely think, what do you think what has what do you think changed in the Conjunto area from the past till now because I know in the past People were like, Cajunto, what's that? But now it's like, Cajunto, oh yeah. my gosh. It's it's like it's like a thing now. Well, on our behalf, when we started, um, I think maybe the, we've been in it for about four or five years, and actually our son became uh, a bass player for the band, and he was actually 17 years old. And when you hear Cajunto, you want to see elderly guys, um, older gentlemen, yeah. and it's mostly all men. Yeah. And so when you see this young man <laughs> and, 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 you know, and you're like, okay, why is this young kid in this band? And then, and now that we have our daughter, Victoria, yeah. Yeah. you know, she started when she's also 17. And now we have our son, Jordan, on oh, yeah. um, you know, and he just turned, uh, he had a birthday, he just turned 18. Oh, wow. I mean, you got these young people in this conjunto band, and it's attracting the attention of the younger uh, generation. Yeah. And so we're integrating our style to be a more of an upbeat, which Mario has a very great alegría sound to me. It's been alegre. He's got this thing. Oh, my gosh. I'm not kidding. He's phenomenal at what he does. Yeah. He feels the crowd. I don't know what next song is coming. None of the band knows. He reads the crowd. He busts out with another song, and people just run to the dance floor. Yeah. But then uh, the the sound that we have is so uh, upbeat and so fun that mm -hmm. it's attracting. I mean, dude, we got we got a uh, twelve year old. She's like, I want them for my quince, and the mom booked us three years in advance. <laughs> oh, wow. No, no joke, no joke. And, the, and we've been to events that people are just wanting us. Uh, and I'm thinking because of our, of course, our music. But more than anything, I think because they feel uh, what we're doing and they're liking it. And once you you get accepted, there's no stopping you. When you have the rasa behind you, yeah. your fans, the people, nothing is stopping you. And then we have God before us. We always put God in everything that we do. Man, dude, we got everything we got in place. We just got to keep going forward. And sometimes we're going to fall. Sometimes we're going to have to get and keep going. But that's just part of life, and that's what you've got to be ready for at all times. Yeah, I, I know. I, I've seen you guys, uh, I think, uh, a few times already. And 
And no kidding, like, I, I, I kid you not. You guys, like, I don't know what it is, but you guys are just like, <laughs> I, when I'm seeing you guys, I'm just like, they're like a kid in a kind of like, oh my God. You know what got, get, got me in awe <laughs> when I was, when I seen you guys, when I was afraid to go up to you and we, I was watching you on the front, I was watching your daughter get down on the accordion. Yeah. Victoria, I mean, I was just blown away. I was just like, holy cow. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? Yeah. yeah. And, and and you know and there's yeah, not that, many there's not many females out there that sings and plays an instrument or or, in a, or even in the accordion yeah yeah I've noticed that like it's it's kind of rare yeah she uh, I'm gonna tell you that that girl is so talented um I can't wait till she finally gets uh I guess in a position where she's gonna finally want to sing because I have never heard a vocal like hers yet. Uh, in our music, uh, this girl has an incredible voice. Wow. Um, you know, I have, uh, you know, it's so funny because I've never heard people mention this when my daughter first started. I remember some women, and this were women, came out to me and said, girl, you better be careful. She's going to take over. <laughs> and I looked at them and I said, you know what? I hope she does. Yeah. Because I'm, you know, I, she, I got her back. And I hope she goes all the way up to the, you know, to the stars. Mm -hmm. And they looked at me like, okay, that backfired. I'm like, that's my daughter. I mean, what do you, I'm okay with that, right. you know? Yeah. And I think that she has surpassed where from where she started. Because she not only sings, she plays piano, she plays guitar. Oh, uh, her first song she wrote was, she was three years old. Oh, wow. She had a little plastic guitar that had these little green, red, and yellow uh, little <laughs> button thingies. And I remember she, she had a big old like, little afro because she had this curly hair. And she's got these beautiful green eyes. And she came up to her. She was, I, she was mom, dad, listen. And she started that like, ling, 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 ling. And then she started singing. We looked at her like, where did you learn that? She was, it's my song. It's just me. And I'm like, wow. Wow. So, she, we knew she had it. We just didn't know exactly what. But some people could sing. Some people could play. And then with her dad, Mario, by the way, plays everything. Uh, he plays, he started in school uh, with alto sax. Uh, he plays uh, drum, bajo, mm -hmm. accordion, guitar, drum, um, piano, um, keys. I mean, Jeez. my husband is super talented. That's oh, how he got me, guys. When I, I fell in love, that. that was, yeah, that was why I fell in love. And he doesn't play it, just play it. Yeah. Uh, he's helped uh, Diferencia. He's played uh, Grupo Vida. He's played, he's played with, I mean, who wants to be tell me out here? <laughs> he's played with different people. Um, when they come into town and then you have uh, one musician, uh, he's played with the original Hometown Boys uh, with uh, Roman. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, I mean, he's played with different bands because he knows the music. Yeah. Jeez. And he's bad. Like I, oh gosh, that guy, that guy's bad. That's like on the accordion. What, what's yeah. it like? I, the assassin, accordion, assassin accordion, or accordion? Oh, accordion. The accordion assassin. Yeah, God. and he like he really lives up to that name because he's just <laughs> rocks. Holy yeah. moly! It's we. It's like so phenomenal. I'm like, whoa! Like you gotta, you pictures. You gotta hear him. He is bad. You know, Mano, He's been endorsed uh, by Horner Accordion for about going on ten years now. Oh, wow. Yeah, he's endorsed by a worldwide company. When they first heard him in 2007 at the Conjunto Festival in San Antonio, within that next year, uh, they made contact and they wanted him endorsed. And um, by the time the paperwork everything came through, uh, we he was within that next year that he was endorsed by them. Jeez. Jeez. That is so cool. I did not know that. I didn't know that. Yeah. That you played all those instruments. Yeah. I mean, you just see them on the accordion. I guess a lot of musicians, but, you know, you have these musicians that play maybe, you know, the guitar and the accordion, but to play everything. Yeah. And to be in a, I think it's so amazing that it's a family band. Yeah, yeah, that's 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 pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I wanted to mention with the 2020, you know, it kind of came in, not that I changed the subject, but, again, family if, if one one of us got sick at an event, well, guess what? 
They're not going to go to their house. They're going to come home with us. Yeah. So one got sick. We did a chance we would all get sick. And I didn't want to put my children to do that. Um, yeah. You know, I didn't want to, you know, it's just something that it was a higher risk for us. Mm-hmm. Uh, we've had several, several clubs, several privates call, and we're telling them, you know, we can schedule you. We'll see if we're at with the COVID, uh, with the pandemic and vaccination, and you're, we're good and y'all are okay. Definitely, we want to get back into it. So things are really slow for us. You know, 2020, you know, put a huge pause on a lot of musicians, yeah. a lot of artists. And it's a sad thing because we're trying to find our, you know, our, we try to find uh, our place again to start all over again and keep on going. Like, talking to y'all, uh, we were hoping we'd be in the studio this past weekend. So there's something in the works. Uh, oh, I wanted to surprise y'all and call y'all from the studio, oh, but I didn't. Again, we could reschedule yeah. another one. <laughs> another <interview>. Yes, definitely. <laughs> Man, definitely. I was going to ask that, too, if, if you guys were going to have new music, because, like, I, I, I don't think any one of your songs are... I think all of your songs are just awesome. Like, yeah. I don't know what it is. It's just all there's of your not, songs. There's not one that's just mediocre. They're all good. They're all like, whoa. Thank you. Mm-hmm. And, then, <laughs> and then for you guys to have another song, it's like, whoa. I know. It's so exciting. <laughs> that's crazy. Like, <laughs> I'm like super excited now. I, I, know, I know a lot of the fans are probably waiting for that too because, mm-hmm. holy No, God. they are. I mean, oh, yeah. It's been, I told Mario, I said, he's been like in, in like, doing all the music like he's getting ready for it and stuff. But let me tell you something. That's Mario. Okay. I know it's original. A lot of it's original, but I need you to finish already. Because we've been in the works of it for about four or five years now. So it's been a while. Jeez. And the fans, you know, they want, they want to take us wherever we, you know, they go. So we need to get some music in our hands up. Mm-hmm. And we're actually working on that. Um, and uh, we're excited. Um, to say that it's in the work, and uh, as soon as we schedule the date with the studio and us, we're gonna let y'all know. Nice. Awesome. Yes, I would definitely, definitely you know, another interview. Ne- yeah. Follow up. Follow up. Yes. We gotta get a, a the Hano Nation uh, interview, so I can uh, I can write the article up and and get the word out there. Definitely, that would be awesome. Yeah, I I really um, you know, I followed you guys for a long time, and I just. I want to thank you for always sharing my videos, sharing my pictures, whatever. I mean, I, I appreciate it. For, for an artist, to me, yeah. for an artist to do that yeah. means a lot. Because sometimes we don't get the support of, you know, an artist. We don't get, like, any um, acknowledgement sometimes. And it, it's sort of like... It's, it's like a reward. It, for me, it's like a, it's like a reward. I'm yeah. like, what? No way they share. Oh my! I get like, <laughs> <laughs> I get all cheesy. Oh my god! Yeah, it's, <laughs> it it's is like no, this. It's it, like this. Y'all tag us, and we'll put it on our page. And I think it's important that y'all understand that a lot of artists that don't do it, um, I, I can't have. I don't have an excuse for them, but I think that it's important that y'all stay doing what y'all are doing because while we're either not playing in that area or not doing something new, y'all are pushing our music. Y'all are still playing our music. You're putting our name out there. And that us uh, is so important. So definitely, please tag us, Mondo. Uh, please just tag us on your stuff and send it to us. And Aww. we'll let people, you know, we want your listeners' base to grow. Oh, thanks, thanks. Yeah, I, I know, I don't know, I get all uh, excited when i see that oh my god <laughs> like you you guys are actually one one of one of my favorites uh, out there like it, you guys always been Thank one you. of my favorites i know mondo was like he was already hyped when we came in right and he's uh-huh. making a monster and i'm like oh geez it's gonna be one of those shows from that to calm me down you know calm down it's just betty betty's cool Calm down. Oh man! But you know, it, it, it's just because it's it's your person, Addy, Betty. It, it's like the whole like, uh, uh-uh, uh, don't mess with me, girl, or don't mess with me, people. I got you know, like whoa, like yeah. that's what I love. And and like I tell a lot of these uh, other artists, especially like the females, like 
They know, you know. that I. If you don't notice, I support a lot of the females out there. So a lot of my music is mostly the females or or the the younger generation for a reason. And, and like, wow. like like I tell uh, like like I tell my other DJs, yeah, I could play those stuff. So I don't mind, but I want to help the the females and the younger generation because they, a lot of them have talent. Like they they're out there. They're 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 awesome. Like yeah. they're all, I see it anyways. I just see them looking up like like anyone that plays, you know, conjunto that's that's a female. I think you know, from yeah. what I see, they look up to you, Betty, because you're yeah. you're a strong force, and, and I mean, there's no one in the yeah. genre that, that's like you guys. Especially in the conjunto, because, like, yeah. I think you are, I feel like you represent the conjunto. Yeah. The female in the conjunto area. Yeah. Like, I... I well, thank you. That's a huge compliment. Yeah, I, I really do. I, I, I think a lot of people... A lot of the female artists look up to you. How does it, how do you, I mean, I know you have a big fan base. And do you ever, like, when you go out to the store or you go anywhere, do you, like, get recognized? Do people, <laughs> I try not to because I'm like, are y'all going to get scared? I don't have my makeup on or something. <laughs> they look at me like, we know you, <laughs> but they look at Mario. If Mario's with me, if Mario gets recognized because you know that's more makeup or thing, they come the way they are. And I'm like, babe, don't come out on the trip because they're gonna recognize you and then they're gonna want to talk to me. And I ain't got my hair done or something. But it's funny because we walk into a store and we'll see our gear on people. They're wearing oh, our shirts. That's so cool. <laughs> that's so crazy. Yeah. We went to, uh, I think it was in, uh, I'm not sure if it was in California or where. We went somewhere, and we are coming out of a restaurant, and I saw the back of the shirt, and I said, oh, my God, that's our shirt. <laughs> it was one of our fans. And it was like, we were going to perform there. And I thought, oh, my gosh, because we mail our gear all over the world. We, we mailed it to Mexico. We mailed them to uh, to Puerto Rico, we've mailed them to uh, different locations, you know. Um, we had some fans write to us. They were from London. I mean, I'm like, really? I mean, I said, there's a Spanish there, or do y'all speak Spanish too? Or yeah. What? You know, I mean, it was the coolest thing. You know, I just, I just remember because I have a, a follower from Japan. Uh, Shuji, <laughs> Shu, Shuji is his name. And he loves you guys. He's from Japan. Oh, he's yeah. And he watches once once in a while. He'll watch. I, you know, the time zones are so different. Um, yeah. But he he follows my post. And anytime I put um, Baraja de Oro or something, he'll he'll like it. I mean, he's oh. like, yeah. So he's from Japan. Jeez. Tell him we said hi. Yeah, I will. I will. So how do you say it, Mario? How do you say what? Hi? Remember? It just all depends. Yeah. <laughs> what does it say? You say? Niha. Yeah, tell them we said Niha. Uh, okay. Like <laughs> I don't know. That's how you say it. That's how you say it. Mario speaks Japan. Just like. <laughs> So, so what, what what would you what advice would you give like women in the industry, especially the women in la, like the Cajunto area? Because mm -hmm. um, I because uh, I like you said I I've seen it too. Sometimes it's it's a little difficult for women to get their name out there because of how the industry is. I mean, what 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 advice would you give them? Okay, uh, ask me that question again. What advice would you give, like, women in the industry, especially the ones that are in the Cajunta area, trying to get out there because of uh, how the industry is towards, like, females in, in the industry? What do I advise them? Yes. Okay, well, honestly, let me tell you, from my experience, uh, it's kind of contradict what we're kind of talking right now because if it went for my husband... I wouldn't have a, you know, I wouldn't have, a, like, a position to step on. Mario kind of opened that door, and I tell everybody, look, I can go up on a stage, and if I look pretty that night, I can go up the stage and look pretty. 
and just stare at you and probably sing a song, you know, a cappella. Mario goes up there, he can give you a drum solo, he can play an accordion solo, he can give you a guitar solo, and then Mario tells me, baby, don't down talk to you. I said, no, I'm not, I'm being, I'm being honest. So, with me, if I hadn't had my husband, I don't think I'd be where I'm at. So, just like I'm his biggest cheerleader, this man is phenomenal. This guy's so handsome, but so married. <laughs> he, uh, he is my also my biggest fan. So his belief in me comes through my security, my confidence, and my children also. You know, they believe in me a hundred percent. And I, I got great people that have shown me. The support. So that's one thing these ladies just don't really have to do. Not depend on it, but if someone is supporting them and believing in them, uh, it's going to help. But more importantly, they have to believe in themselves. And, you know, people aren't going to give you that sideways look, that sideways glance, or like, uh, you know. No, 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 no. You're not there to be somebody's best friend. You're there to sing and be an artist. Yeah. You know, it, and I'm not going to lie. I mean, it, it's not easy. There's many times I went to sleep crying. I told my husband one time, I said, you need to get me off of this position of management because I think I'm hurting the band. He goes, don't you ever say that again. You're the best thing that's ever happened. And just keep doing what you're doing. And I'll pick you up 100%. Nice. So, you know, he, believe it or not, guys, he's the... He's the star. I'm still with the big mouth. Uh, I answer your phone calls. I answer your emails. I answer your questions. But he's the one that, that does everything. <laughs> nice. nice. I was like, you're talking to me now. <laughs> I'm the one that posts everything. Uh, he's real. Uh, it's just about the music. You know, that's all he's about. Uh -huh. You know, we, we have so much like in common. I'm just, because everything you're telling me right now, I looked at my husband, because he's here with me. He's like my technical Hi, guy. He's like yeah. my support. He's my security blanket, yeah. you know. And he's the one that pushes me and tells me, you can do this. You know, so wow. that, I mean, it's it's actually good for an artist that's coming into the business to know that you have to have that support, Yeah. you know, to to make it far because if you don't if you have someone that's jealous and that's possessive you know it ain't gonna work you know so you need someone that's supportive and that pushes you to be the better you you know exactly awesome well hi husband i think you're really awesome you have a great wife and uh you tell your husband i said <laughs> that it takes a great man to be uh you know to be there for you because he's right. Uh, it, it, it comes with men talking to you. It comes with yes. uh, different scenarios. Oh. And it depends on how you handle yourself. He's got all the trust in the world and he's got all the belief in you. You, got, you can't lose, PJ. Yeah. 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 I've, I've, I've learned from when I first started, you know, I would get all these inappropriate like inbox messages on Facebook. <laughs> and I had to, I had to like one at a time, you know, <laughs> shut them down right away. <laughs> the pics. Yeah. yeah the yeah. pics. Yeah. Oh, gosh. You know, and yeah, no, I agree. You know, um, over, well, since Peaches and I have been airing, um, Tony's been, he has, he's actually a lot smarter than, than what people may think. Cause he, <laughs> he, he's like, no, yeah. I mean, he's pretty, uh, he knows the industry very well because he used to be a DJ back in the day. But he he knows it very well, like he really does, and and I can see why he just is where she's at now. Yeah. I and mean, that's so beautiful to see, uh, and it it kind of conveys to other people that it's possible, other couples that it's possible, you know, yeah. to live your dream and be married. To people say, how in the heck can you have a band and still be married? Yeah. 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 Well. It's like we are still in the dating stage. We've been married 20, maybe how long, 22 years? We've been married 22 years, and oh, wow. we've been dating for a year and a half before that. So altogether, close to 25 years, and 
you know, I we still can't be away from each other too long. Um, <laughs> it's just it's just the love that we have, I think. And um, one thing that I will tell you that, like you, just um, the encouragement that you give uh, on the radio, it just shows the love that you have behind you, and the you know, and and the support. And I think that's phenomenal that you're doing this. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it, it it does make, I mean, I, I consider myself, you know, pretty lucky because, you know, it, it, it could have been the other way. I could have, you know, not been doing this for very long because, you know, of problems at home or whatever. But it's actually been really smooth. Um, my kids know what I do. They're all older. So they're responsible, they're very, um, they, know, they know what I do, so, um, and they support me 100%, so that makes a big difference. But I, I, look up to you, I look up to you for, even for strength, you know, sometimes we all get down, we all, we all get in the, in your, you know, I get my self-doubt, you know, going, and, and then I'm just like, I got to pick myself up, you know, and then I. I, I'll read a post of yours or something. It's like, okay, this is what I needed to read. This is what I needed, you know, to pick myself up. Am I up. cussing or am I a good girl? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, um, and that's, that's good. Um, honestly, guys, uh, thank you for this interview. I think that getting to know y'all, I think y'all are pretty awesome people. And, you know, want to thank People that are listening, you know, our supporters, our listeners, our, our fans, um, you know, we want to send a shout out to all our, man, our team. We can't do nothing without them. Um, our drummer, he's, he's like Mario's left hand. I mean, this guy has known Mario longer than I have. And, uh, he's a, he's an awesome, he's an awesome guy. And his wife, which is my best friend, Miss Sue, uh, we call her La Huera. She, uh, she stepped in and has done some incredible work for us. Um, she's, first of all, a big supporter of her husband, which again, it just it shows how a married couple, uh, supporting each other can make it in the music industry. Um, you know, he's, he's been in the music industry all his life. He was, uh, maybe a middlehead, uh, before Conjunto. And, you know, you know, also, Matt, he's from our Mario's hometown, Waxahachie, Texas. Uh, Matt Villarreal, he uh, actually became a sound engineer while being a road, being the road, part of the road oh, crew. Wow. Uh, he got thrown into the fire, and he picked up really great, and he's been there for us from day one as well when he started. Man, I'm going to guy, he can do more work than three or four guys at one time. He's a big, you know, he's a big guy. I mean, you don't want to meet up with him in the alley. <laughs> but, uh, he's part of our security as well. And then, uh, you know, our kids born in Victoria, you know, Mondo, and, and because we left them alone, uh, we know, with babysitters uh, away from us for most of their lives as far as when, you know, growing up. And we understand now, uh, now that they're in the band, you know, it was hard for mom and dad to, you know, say bye. And, you know, we'd be gone some touch for the whole weekend. Yeah. And then we'd come back home and um, now they look at it and, you know, they love what they do. They love what they do. But they've been supporting us before they even know they were supporting us. <laughs> uh. But uh, just getting to know you all, uh, I think that people are in good hands. I think artists are in good hands. Uh and Mondo, when we first met you, uh, you were interviewing us in Arizona. Yes. And I remember you were such a trip, dude. You were such a trip. <laughs> I mean, we fell in love with you from day one. I remember that. It was around Christmas time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, you had a scarf on. You looked off 50. And uh, you made us feel so good. <laughs> I think, oh, my God. He's a oh, my God. I was... <laughs> <laughs> like he is now. Oh my! He, I, I tell you, before the show, I, I had to. I mean, we had some deep breathing exercises to do because this guy was gonna hyperventilate. <laughs> oh my god! I love you guys. Oh, uh, we love both of y'all. Oh, we love both of y'all. So I know. And uh, 
it's me. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, I know on my page I have a few artists, and I think uh, Peaches has a few artists on her page. So I, I have Chevy Love, I have Ricky Reese, and Los Escopianes. I have uh, Michelle Ramon, so the original Chavel and Brown Express. I have uh, mm -hmm. Michelle and Ramon there. Um, who else do I have? I have Ed Gary, a, a, um, a music producer, actually. Um, who else have I got? Um, who do you have, Peaches? I know you have a few people. Uh, Daniel Garcia, he has a Facebook page called uh, Big Big D Dreams, I think it is. Um, he wants to invite you. He'll probably invite you guys to uh, his page because he promotes a lot of bands and uh, DJs. So um, I'm sure that that he'll uh, he'll probably uh, reach out to you guys. And he's been a big big help here in the the Hano industry. And then who else? You good, got? good. Um, we just got a lot of people. I've seen Tony up there. Um, yeah, Tony Guerrero, didn't you? Tony Guerrero was here listening. I don't know if he's here now. TDK. Everyone knows TDK. <laughs> TDK. Yeah. <laughs> so he's here. He's watching as well. But um, Oh, wow. You, but, uh, we we want to thank you so much for giving us your time. And we can't wait for the new music to come out. Um, keep us posted and um, I'll reach out to you about you know doing the article for uh, the Hano Nation and uh, man I just I can't wait <laughs> I'm just already uh, excited yeah and, it, and if you guys come down this area oh, let me know I'm I'm you, you already know I'll either do an interview or, or photo shoot or something like <laughs> photo shoot yeah well, you know, so, they know my photo. where are you at exactly Arizona Huh? Yeah. Where y'all from? Where y'all at? Yeah. Tucson. Right. Uh, yes, Tucson, Arizona. Tucson, Arizona. <laughs> How they say? Tucson. But y'all live in that. But yeah, I know Arizona, but I know where exactly. Yeah, Tucson. We're like, I don't know if you've ever been to the Casino de Sol. Or yeah, that? yeah, we have. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's, that's the the city we're from. Yeah, we're ah, like, okay. right, right there. We performed there twice. Oh, did you? Oh. Yeah, we've been in Tucson. Yeah. Jeez, I wait. I'm willing to drive wherever. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm willing to drive to you too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know that would be cool. Hopefully, we could get you guys down here. No, oh yes. Definitely. Yeah. Well, we look forward to seeing y'all, and uh, uh, he gives you owe me a hug. You owe the whole band a hug. <laughs> okay. Yay. All right, you got it. Thanks, Betty. Thanks. I appreciate you guys. Thank and, you, guys. Thank and a lot of love to your family. Thanks, BDO out there. Thank you. So before we head out, where can they find you and your merchandise and all that great stuff? Honestly, they can contact us at 469-279-5413. Okay, that is 469-279-5413. Two seven nine. Two seven nine. Five four one three. Five four one. Oh, that's oh, that's what you call me from. <laughs> okay, I got you. <laughs> yeah, okay. this is the band. Yeah, this is the band number. And basically, you just uh, contact me. Uh, we've got a uh, Facebook. We've got uh, Twitter. We've got uh, Instagram. Uh, just Google Luca Malaja Dioro and uh, just make contact with us. We want to hear from y'all and. We love our fans. They're the best in the world. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, guess, guess we'll talk to you later. Okay. Nice. Be safe. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Okay, bye. You're welcome. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. Yes, that is right. Thank you, Vic Victoria, for sharing. And everybody out there, también. This. That was Baraja de Oro right there. Um, Betty Baraja. That's like, Betty, yeah. That's she's, crazy. That's, she's, she, has, she's, she has important stuff to say. You know, it's like everything she says is right on. Like I mean, she, she has a lot of knowledge mm -hmm. in the industry. Um, I know our time is coming up really soon. Um, let me play you uh, uh, Ricky Reese and then... I thought, Oh shoot! Our video of the that day. is right. That is right. We got the video of the the week right here. Yeah, video of the week. Video of the day. 
Read it with a day. Whoa, <laughs> whoa, girl. Hold on. Um, that's right. That's right. Where is it? We got video of the week. I totally forgot about that. Mm. Let me see. Video. Don't of worry, week. guys. It's not COVID. I'm just. Here you go. Allergies. That's right, guys. Video of, of the, the week. week. I didn't put the the sound things, but here we go. <laughs> video of the week. Here on a peach and a loco. Marcus. ¿Por qué te vas sin decirme nada? Dime amor, ¿por qué te vas sin decirme nada? Dime cuándo volverás tan enamorada. Dime cuándo volverás tan enamorada. Si un día mi amor te vi, ¿por qué me tratas así? Si un día mi amor te vi,
That's right, guys. That's a uh, Ricky Reese, brand new one, El Rey, El Rey, right here on the mm, local. That is right. Thank you, Ricky Reese, for sending it over. I will play it on my Thursday show. Um, and then maybe we'll, 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 I think I'm sure we'll have time next week. <laughs> next week we'll have a lot of time. Um, so if you guys don't know, we do have our interview next week. Thank you, Bada Oil, for coming. Our next week interview is... Jaime de Anda. That is right. Oh my god, that's, that's going to be awesome. Jaime de Anda, if you guys didn't know. What the, he was video of the week last week. Yeah. That is right. We have the interview next week, and maybe Betty will jump on. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's the dog. <laughs> That is right, his dog. <laughs> With the scarf. His dog. <laughs> I think he has it on, oh, the, yeah, the, on That's What's Up video. I think he has yeah. a scarf. That is right, his dog. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, he's, got, oh, he's got clothes. They dress him up. He has glasses and a hat. Oh, I know. Oh, that's funny. Um, thank you, everybody who shared. I seen Victoria that shares. Gracias, Victoria Baraja, for sharing. Thank you. Um, thank you, everyone, for being here with us. Thank you, Chevy, for thank sharing. You thank you, shared. Ricky Reese and Los Scorpiones. Hi, Bobby, for jumping on. Uh, Michelle Ramon Flores. Um, who else do I have on here? My top fan, Jose. Hi, Bobby. Gracias. Hi, Ismael. Michelle Ramon Flores. Ismael Gutierrez. Ismael, what's up? What's up, Ismael? Um, that is right, guys. Um. What do you want to say before? Um, just that um, <clears throat> we got our shows going on this week, so you can catch me tomorrow on KPYT. Just going to the TuneIn app from 11 to 2 o'clock Central Standard Time. So that'll be 1 o'clock to 4 o'clock Central Standard Time. 11 to 2 Mountain Standard Time. Okay, I just got to get that straight. So um, tune in. I play different kinds of music. Uh, specifically like old school and Tejano so and I play some country I love that classic rock and then uh, Mondo has his show and then, I, and then I have my show Thursday every Thursday almost every Thursday unless I have school because I have school guys I don't know, you know but I have school business school sure. um, <laughs> <laughs> but I have a I have school um, but yeah my show is on Thursday 8 p.m. Mountain Saturn time that is 7 8 9 p.m. Texas time 7 p.m. West Coast time. West Coast. West Coast time. Um, what else? Uh, I think this is about it. Oh, it. and then I will I see you. We'll see you guys at DJ Smoke's wedding on the 24th. Without further ado, we're done. It's about that time. It's about that time. So here we go. Um, for those of you guys we didn't mention, Elena met in court. And Los Tejano Raiders. Here we go, baby. That's right. Here on a peach and a loco. <laughs> Too bad. We share, okay? Share. Share on peaches. Share everywhere. Share the love. Share the love. Share. Share. <laughs> How to do it? Share the love.
Vida y los Chano Raiders. That's right. So if you guys know your Californians out there, Jose, my one top fan, I know you do. <laughs> my one top fan, I have to acknowledge my one fan. Top fan. Uh, something with the N. The bar. Uh, okay. We're writing our names down again for the people. Oh, Daniel, he just posted something on his group about us. Yay! Awesome. Oh, yay! All right, guys. Without further ado, I want to give saludos to everybody out there. Obviously, Victoria tuned in. Jose tuned in. Ricky Reese tuned in. Mercy, De Mercy Perez West Texas promotion. Save your love. Um, who else tuned in? My one fan. My top fan. <laughs> um, I, I have more. Who, who tuned in on your site? Um, right now, it was, let's see. I had some people. Jeremy Ramos from Coronto Malo. They got a new single out. I'll be playing it tomorrow on KPYT. Joe De La Cruz Jr., Susan Solis from Amarillo, Texas. Yay! And Yolanda Aldico, Daniel Garcia. Yolanda's been watching all the time, so she's like one of our top fans. Mercy Perez. Um, I got a Mercy Luisa Cepeda. <laughs> yeah, Luisa. Cepeda. TDK. Ismael. Gutierrez. Daniel Garcia. So thank you everyone. If we missed you, I'm sorry. Michelle Ramos. Hi Juan. Chabella and Brown Express. Juan Berlanga. Hi Juan. Bobby Venezuela. Vic Martinez. <laughs> Rick Balderrama. Ed Aww. Gary. Rick Ooh. always checks in. Thank you, Rick. Daniel Salazar. You're Go. awesome. Hi Rick. I know he's awesome. Rick Balderrama. Bobby. All right. Well. Okay, guys. The show is over. So. Thank you guys once again for always tuning in. We'll be back next Monday with Jaime de Onda. Okay? Jaime de Onda, guys, next week. Peace.